Welcome all my beautiful people worldwide, Dr. Mandel here. We are broadcasting live, which makes it quite exciting because <clears throat> we don't have time to edit. We go right from the heart, which I think is many times the best way to go because we don't like to have a lot of time to, to prepare. We just like to go with our instinct. And this program is all about sleeping on your back, particularly on the floor. I'm going to talk about the cons and the pros, but I am particularly would love for you to come on the platform briefly, only pertaining to your experience, only sleeping on the floor. If you have any questions, please save that for another program. But this, because it will be pre-recorded or recorded back onto my channel, we want to keep this topic directly about sleeping on the floor. Now, there are different things that I'm going to talk about regarding sleeping, but I just want to mention a couple of things first as we have someone on standing by with us and we'll come get you in just a second. If you look here, you can see that, uh, imagine this is the floor. You can see the top uh, picture right here. The difference here is that this person does not have their knees bent. And this can eventually put a lot of stress on the lumbar lower doses as when you sleep on the back, even if you're in the bed, I highly recommend putting a little pillow or something under the knees. It takes the hip flexors out and it opens up the, the, the hole where the nurse comes out in the lower back, it eases the muscles, particularly in the hip flexors, as well as the lower back. And there's a lot of great things I'll say about this in a few minutes. Also, look at the neck. You do not want a high propped pillow because that's going to take you out of alignment. But the key thing, the key reason about sleeping on your back on the floor is all about structural alignment. The problem with sleeping on pillows I'm sorry, pillows or anything soft, I say pillows, meaning a mattress. Look here, this is the problem. So the problem is, is that the majority of mattresses, even the even the semi-firm ones over the course of time, they get, they get slouchy, they start to sag. And if you're sleeping on a soft mattress, and if you're sleeping on your back or your side, this is just a great example on your back, you can see the differences of the, of the misalignment and you can see how things become distorted. And that's why a lot of people wake up with a lot of musculoskeletal ailments. So let's first go to Joey here and see what Joey has to say. Hello, Joey. Hey, how are you doing, doctor? Good, good. What, what would you like to say pertaining to this topic? Um, regarding sleeping on my back versus sleeping on my front, um, I would say, have you ever heard of the muscle called the longissimus maximus? Yes. Uh, the longissimus is near the, um, I believe it's the thoracic well spine. Yeah, it goes all the way down. It goes all the way down, correct. That can be a very problem spot for many people. It's a very problem spot for me for a very long time. Um, I've had many, many different chiropractic uh, um, chiropractors work on me, and they told me there's a big difference between sleeping on your back and then sleeping on your front. When you sleep on your front, it puts a lot of pressure on your sternum, which can cause a lot of irritation also in the back. Question. Uh, you sleep on the floor at all or try ever sleeping on the floor? Just curious. Um, sleeping on the floor, I've never tried it, no. Um, I, I want to try it, but I feel like it would keep me up all night. You okay. Know? You just I want you to just stay put and listen to what we have to say about that. Thank you very much for coming up on the platform with us. We appreciate it very much. Okay. Let's go into a couple of things. Um, let me go ahead right now and invite you to come up if – any of you who have been sleeping on the floor um, for whatever reason, even a short periods of time, might have been after an accident, after an injury, after a lower back problem, but there's proven research that shows that people who have had lower back and sciatica as well as pinched nerves have done very well on the floor. But there are some good and bad things. Now, for example, if you have a problem getting off the floor, you may have musculoskeletal injuries, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, degenerative joint disease, hip problems, knee problems, or more in the elderly, then you cannot sleep on the floor. That wouldn't be for you. But for those people who have chronic back problems, chronic muscle spasm, uh, even sciatica, pain on the leg, this is something that you may want to consider. Uh, let me come back to our pictures, and then I will go back and explain a few more things to you. Now, obviously, sleeping as this, uh, Joy was saying, back on your stomach, I don't recommend anyone to sleep on their stomach. And if you're on your back, knees always bent, low pillow. That's really important, okay? 
There's, we talked about before. Now, if you look in the bottom one, sometimes people can put like a little rolled up or a, a folded up towel in the lumbar spine. But if you keep the knees bent enough, you really won't need it in that lower back. But keeping those legs straight out is not a good idea. Now, look at the pillow that she's using on the lower, lower picture here. That's called a cervical pillow, and that's good. But most people do not use it. You do not want to use a pillow that is actually too high. Let's look here. By sleeping on your back here, uh, the first thing I would recommend is making sure you have a type of support. Now, this support can be anything from a, uh, uh, could be like a yoga mat. It could just be a blanket. It could be uh, a, a, a crate. It can be anything you want to put before between the floor and your back. But I don't recommend really people sleeping on directly on the floor because of hygiene purposes. For example, let's say someone walks on the floor a lot. Okay, there could be mites, there could be, you know, little mini bugs, or you may have allergies. Uh, particularly if you do have allergies, I don't recommend it because, you know, there's germs down there, respiratory problems. So I would highly recommend that um, you kind of use good judgment. But if you are an allergy sufferer and you have like a runny nose and itchy eyes and throat or coughing or trouble breathing, um, it may not be the best for you. Plus, there is mildew on there. But I really think that if you use uh, good judgment and you have a median between your back and the floor, it can be a great thing. Now, look here. Uh, this is just like a yoga mat. And here is just like a carpet, which I think is a great thing. But don't sleep directly where people walk. I just don't think that's a wise idea. Um, and uh, that's, to me, really, really important. So let's talk about briefly... Um, let me just grab this reel here. One second with me. Okay. Um, the drawbacks. Drawbacks, again, if there's mold or mildew buildup on the floor, I don't recommend. Uh, if you have allergies, as I said. Uh, if it's extremely uncomfortable. So a lot of people will sleep in a soft mattress and get very comfortable to soft mattress. They go sleep on the floor or they lay down on the floor. God, this is killing my back because you're not used to it. And I always recommend that if you're going to try the challenge, do it for a few days. I guarantee after a couple of days, you're going to see a tremendous difference. I did the challenge for myself. I did it for six weeks. Um, I had some, a lot of back issues at one time going back several years ago. Uh, and I've got a lot of people that have been doing this. that really did wonderful, particularly those sciatic type patients, uh, patients with chronic low back problems or pinched nerves or herniated discs have done extremely well sleeping on floors. Now, remember, you're not sleeping on a hard floor. You can put a median or something between your back and your head. Now, a lot of people say, should I use a, a pillow? Yes, a low pillow, not a high pillow, because, again, it's all about structure. It's all about symmetry. Imagine the way I'm sitting right now. If you look at me from the side, you don't want to be lying down on my back like this. That defeats the purpose. And the reason why it's very difficult to be on your side is because of the comfort. You've got bone, like your elbow or your shoulder or your hip, digging into the ground. It's not the best position. But it's proven that when you're on your back and you're in the right posture position, as we talked about the knees slightly bent, pillow underneath the knees or something else underneath it, the weight is equally distributed from your head all the way to your toes. So you've got your head, your shoulders, your mid-back, your buttocks. Your, your thighs, your hamstrings, as well as your ankles. Everything's equally distributed. And it's a very, very beneficial thing if you do it correctly. Now, for people who are cold sensitive, this is a downfall. Let's say that uh, uh, you have like pre-existing problems like, you know, uh, an autoimmune disease or you're very sensitive to cold. Remember, being down on the floor is going to be colder. I'm not talking about, you know, over in Alaska, but it's going to be colder. So that's another thing you want to be aware of. Elderly people uh, may be more sensitive. You know, maybe people who have hy hypothyroidism can be more sensitive to the coldness because when I tell you to sleep on the floor, I don't want to make it uncomfortable for you. I want you to be comfortable so you can get the benefits of it. But remember, the majority of benefits of sleeping on the floor is structural symmetry, good posture. And what does that mean? That means that if you're sleeping in a bed and you've got – a lot of imbalances, as I showed you right here, if you just tuned in with us, uh, you can see how the parts of your body are seeping into the, into, the, into the mattress and you're waking up stiff or, you know, because you don't have proper symmetry, the, you're not balancing the spine. Um, that when you have that proper symmetry, not only 
is it helping your spine? But what about your your lungs? You can breathe better. Your lungs, your ribs can come out more. Uh, there's a lot of really great positive benefits. So uh, if you are a back sleeper, and I'm sure that um, many of you are, uh, and you've tried sleep on the floor, uh, I've just posted it. Be, feel free to come up on the platform with me, and let's hear a little bit what you have to say. And as we said, side sleepers, I don't recommend uh, that you sleep on the floor because it can be a little uncomfortable. This is primarily for back sleepers, which is really the best position to sleep in because um, the problem is when you sleep on your side, even in your mattress, if I take a picture of you and you look at it, you're going to say, God, I just, I'm, I'm like cockeyed. Well, that's the problem. The problem is you can't be cockeyed when you're sleeping on a very hard, firm uh, uh, support. And we've always talked about the firmer, the better. The firmer the mattress, the better. And I still will talk about that. And there's a reason why firm mattresses are better. But the problem is, is that many people keep mattresses 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years. They don't stay firm. You with me? So if they're not staying firm, then what is it doing to your, your structure, your spine? Uh, and I think that's another important thing to just put that in the back of your mind. But I would also say that if you are a chronic back sufferer or, or hip sufferer or lower back or sciatica or pinched nerve, which many millions of people have, give it a shot. Even if you do it for a few hours a night uh, and then you build up over days or maybe even a week or even two weeks, you say, God, you know, what a difference. The difference is, is that you're not going to be tossing and turning. You can't toss and turn when you're on the floor but you will toss and turn when you're in your bed because it's so comfortable, you know, and, and that's the problem. And that's the, really the, the great thing about sleeping on the back. So as I said, you always want to have a little something between the, your back and the floor. I don't like you sleeping directly. Like you sleep on a clean carpet, you know, a little bit of a mat, a yoga mat, you know, something that has uh, even, you know, you think about sleeping bags. We, how many people have done that? throughout their life. Sleeping bags were the big things. You know, you go to sleeping parties, you go to camp, you sleep in the sleeping bags. Well, that's sleeping on the floor. That's what you're doing. You're not in a mattress. And uh, people, you know, think historically going back to the old days, thousands of years ago, that's how they slept. They didn't have mattresses. They slept just the way innate told them to sleep. So sometimes all this high technology, all this comfortable stuff, um, you know, is not really good for us. So I think the environment of sleeping correctly uh, on a floor can be a, a really big asset for you. And it's just something that particularly if you are suffering from any type of musculoskeletal ailment, particularly back pain, spasm, uh, muscle spasm, pinched nerve, herniated disc, bulging disc, degenerative joint disease, try it. I really think it could be a great asset for you. Any last questions before we make way? Okay, I can talk from my experience because I've done it for six weeks. Um, and I believe it or not, um, I know plenty of people that love sleeping on the floor. Um, now, I don't, I'm not going to tell you to always sleep on the floor, but it's good for the spine. It really is good for the spine, and it really can make a big difference when you get up. You can feel much more energy. You can feel much more vibrant. Your focus is going to be better. Why? Because more oxygen, more circulation. Uh, sometimes even people that work out, more recovery because you're sleeping differently. Now, realize you, this... Uh, when we look at blood circulation, we're looking at oxygen that's being carried throughout your body, through all the cells. It's discarding waste. It's getting rid of lymphatic tissue. Um, you're, you're recirculating cells to, for things can repair and heal, particularly when you sleep. This is why we sleep. But theoretically, if we have a, a good cardiovascular system, it's a stronger immune system, a uh, proper, a better lung function. So I'm not saying that you're not going to have this sleeping in a bed, but I will say that those who sleep incorrectly in a bed sleeping on the floor initially sometimes can retrain the brain that once you get that down and you go back into a bed, your sleeping patterns are totally different and totally better. So that's the benefit. The benefit is, is that if you can eventually learn the po proper posture by sleeping on the floor, because you're not going to toss and turn on the floor, and eventually you go back in the bed where a lot of people have sleeping difficulties in bed and wonder why they're always waking up every couple hours or waking up on their stomach, if you can master it on the floor, you could do it anywhere. Can you hear us, Sharon? Yes, I can. Hi. Okay. Take it away. What would you like to make the comment about sleeping on the back if you have any comments on that? I sleep on the back. And what I do is I bought a board 
and I put okay. the board on top of my mattress. Okay. And I have about, a, it's like a yoga mat, but it's about this t on top of that. Interesting. And I sleep on my back and I sleep with, I know this sounds weird and it gets in my husband's way, but I oh. sleep with my arms out okay. and I sleep with my legs like in a frog position because okay. I have um, herniated discs four okay. herniated disc in my back. And so sleeping like that with my legs um, in a, like a yoga position on my back with only a little something underneath my neck Same. with my Up arms out, which helps my back straighten out is, is I've been doing it for about five years. Wow. So my, my question for you, for our audience, and for those who are going to be watching this in the future, um, you see a big difference by having that support, that that firmness, that hardness. Because in, in a lot of people's minds, I've done it, they're saying the floor, it's hard, it's uncomfortable. Um, but initially, for people who sleep in a bed or something soft, it may take a little time to get used to it. Um, mm -hmm. We're not saying that, hey, look, you're going to, you know, it's not like you're going to dive in the water and start swimming if you never swam before. But we want them to know that, hey, if you have muscles, that are not conditioned to be in a supportive position because what's the spine? The spine is all about support, but what supports the spine? Muscles. Mm -hmm. And if those muscles um, are imbalanced or they're weak or they become tired or they're stretched out incorrectly or they're in the wrong position or tugging the wrong way, that leads to a lot of these chronic, chronic back problems. And sleeping, because we spend one third of our life in, it's so important that thank you so much for at least Give it an information out because we're going to end the program with, with your beautiful face and your beautiful words. So thank we, we thank you so much. And uh, Sharon, God bless you. And stay in touch with stay in touch with us, okay? Will do. Thank you, okay. Dr. Thank you. Okay. So uh, if you've just uh, tuned into this program or, or if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so because there's only one thing I care about. That's you and your family. We want to see you well. We want to continue to give you cutting edge information, nutrition information, musculoskeletal information, cardiovascular, lung, and immune system, anything we can do to keep your body healthy naturally. That's what it's all about. So I want to say blessings to you. Please stay safe. Please share this video. This will be back on our channel. And again, if new people are watching this, we thank you so much for being on the channel and watching this. I really think there's a lot to gain from this particular video. And don't ever just give up on sleeping or trying to sleep on the floor. You may want to give it a shot, particularly if you are suffering with chronic problems. It can really do wonders because it's done wonders for a lot of people. And trust me, it can do wonders for you too. God bless you. And we'll be with you again real soon. Bye-bye now.